Let's have a look at what the management pack has to deliver technically. On the left hand side in the operations manager console you'll see all the management packs that are imported. When importing our BlackBerry management pack you get the OpsLogix BlackBerry folder and if you expand that you'll see that we have a lot of views and items that we deliver monitoring on. Now when clicking on the server state you'll see that it found our BlackBerry server and it does so for every BlackBerry server that at least holds one of the BlackBerry roles and you can see from here that it detected the version detected the installation type things of the database, the database server uh, and some other properties. Now when we right click and say open diagram view we'll actually see that our management pack fully delivers on objects meaning that for every component we monitor whether it's a BlackBerry handbelt device, a BEST server, things like the attachment server or even the router service for each of these objects are created. Now this is nice because you can reuse those objects in your distributed application designer. Whenever you want to create a overview for a certain service, let's say an email service, and you drag in there your messaging components, you can also drag in the BlackBerry components and define a relationship to see how the BlackBerry status is whenever monitoring your email service. For each of those objects you see that they have attributes for instance when I go back to the router service you'll see that it's connected to srp.nl.blackberry.net When going back you'll see that there are a lot of views we have a server view which rolls up all the health we have an all BlackBerry alerts view we have an attachment service, a BES and the best view has things like performance counters, a log file um, view, things like database state, router state uh, and even the handheld devices which we can look at. Now when going to all BlackBerry alerts you'll see that two alerts have been occurring in the past few hours. When we look at the details you'll see that we will monitor on things like the BlackBerry SRP connection and in this case it found a timeout and it said the SRP network access node was not able to connect to srp.nl.blackberry.net Now we filled the product knowledge for almost every monitor and every alert giving you a clue of what's happening but we also filled the alert context giving you an insight of the things happening in this case to which host is it connecting, on which port, what was the status code and what was the connection time for troubleshooting purposes. Now if we had take a look at another alert, in this case the management pack was unable to connect to the exchange admin mailbox, you'll see the same thing. It has product knowledge, it has all the things it needs to uh, try and make sure that you know about in the case of troubleshooting. Of course you can add your own company knowledge and we'll try and improve and make sure you get more knowledge in the future as well. Now this can be tuned. Let's say that in your environment you're using another Outlook profile name. You can actually override the monitor saying I want to make sure that whenever you're connecting to my admin mailbox you need to use this and this profile name. Same goes for other monitors. We've implemented a lot of overridable parameters. If you go here, you'll see that you are able to change things like the port number. Uh, if you indicate that the router is running on a different port connection to, to RIM. And as said, most of our monitors can be overridden and certain thresholds can be changed. Now that knowledge is a big thing. If we take the Health Explorer and we look at typical installation, you'll see that we have a lot of monitors, a lot of things we check. And you'll see that whenever looking at the monitor, 
you'll see that it holds knowledge on what to do, on what it checks, and how to look even further. For relevant articles on blackberry.com, we've actually added the external knowledge sources, so you can directly click on there whenever an alert is happening or a monitor is turning red. And as said, we will provide you with context on details, connections, and all such. Now, performance is another big thing. Depending on the view, in this case number of users, you can actually select and look at a certain performance counter. In this case, we have one user set up on the demo system, but we can have a look at things like messages to handhelds, from handhelds, messages filter, or even the all counters. Now, these counters are applicable to the BlackBerry Enterprise server, but when you go to see the router performance, you'll see that you'll get other items that you want to look at. When using our ping management pack, which is freely available from opslogics.com, you could also just try the connection to BlackBerry. And this is a better together story. You're monitoring your BlackBerry infrastructure, but you also want to make sure that the connection to BlackBerry is fine. Not only the SRP connection, but just doing a contacting of the host on the internet. Using our management pack, you could actually see what the response times are and make sure that you get an alert whenever the latency is too high. In this beta version, we also included reports. And as you can see here, we have some technical reports on number of messages on certain router information or things like the number of users on a certain BlackBerry server. When opening up the report, you're using the default System Center Operations Manager knowledge. You can just say, I want to add an object, a certain BlackBerry server I want to report on. And you'll see here that we can just select our BlackBerry Enterprise server and say, I want to know the number of users that are currently present on my system. Now these reports are available in line as well. So if we go back to the server state, go back to the BlackBerry Enterprise state, on the right hand side you'll see these reports show up. And whenever you click on them, you'll see that it, the reporting functionality adds your object already and you only have to select the date and time and you're fine. Now from a better together story, you could also use the Savision Live Maps, which, is, which also has a free edition on savision.com. If we disable the detail pane so we have more space, you can see that we made a sample map where we included all the BlackBerry components and from here on rolled up states to show how things are happening. You could double click and see from here, how's my attachment service doing? Or you could click from here and make sure that you include your exchange or Lotus connections or things like connection to the internet to blackberry.net. If you want more information on this management pack, please go to your partner or go to www.opslogics.com and you can read more information, download the data sheet or get... Uh, uh, evaluation copy for your environment.